right, so we'll fast forward a little bit. 2012 New Zealand Strongest Man at the Easter Show. You're 23 years old. You're still only weighing 125 kilos. First time um, you'd ever entered New Zealand Strongest Man and ended up being the first competition that you'd actually won. Talk to us a little bit about uh, that first New Zealand Strongest Man title. It was good. It was good. No, no comp for me. I don't think is ever going to top that. Um, just being the first one and it was such a, it was really close. Um, with Sam Miguel, me and him were super close on points. Um, we had John o. McFarlane there as well, Nick Hansen. Um, and in every, I think every event except for one, a uh, New Zealand record was broken for wow. that time. Obviously now like the weights are heavier and whatnot, but for that time. Um, so yeah, it felt good to win it in a year that was still like a very strong lineup and where the performances were still good. At that time, like I wouldn't really consider myself the strongest. It just felt like I had the perfect comp while the other top, like the stronger guys, um, they had those mistakes that yep. cost them quite a lot. So fast forward to 2013, you had your chance to go back to back. Do you remember much about that second New Zealand Strongest Man um, encounter? <laughs> yeah, I remember I trained super hard. So I was super motivated after that first one. I came in like, in good shape, really confident. Um, and then I believe, I think Sam was out injured. Um, Jono had retired and Nick Hansen, so it was Nick Hansen. I remember he came up and he skipped a whole event because he had a like a rehearsal for a wedding or something like oh, that. Man. So I kind of, I realized like Strongman's great, but this veteran guy, like he still sees the, um, you know, the limitations you can't, like you still have to live your life. And for so sure. I, at, cause if you compared us at the time, I was just a young student, like nothing much in my life. I could devote everything to it. All right, so 2014, your third uh, crack at a New Zealand Strongest Man title, looking for the three-peat. Uh, first time competing with uh, Matt Rag at New Zealand Strongest Man. Rongo Kim was there for the first time. Talk to us a little about uh, 2014's New Zealand Strongest Man title. That was good. That was another good year. Um, it was a pretty strong lineup again. With yeah, the addition of Matt and Rongo, and then still having, I think Sam came back that year as well. Um, yep, Ruben was there too. Yep, and Ruben, that's right. And uh, so Ruben, Ruben could have, if it wasn't for his, same thing, like I, I felt like I came in really good shape, yep. really well across the board. Um, but Ruben still could have won. It was just that one, one weakness was the overhead that cost him. So when I look back on each comp, I kind of remember lessons, I suppose. So like that, that really taught me the focus is to be well-rounded um, because he, he won a lot of events that year. Um, yeah, I think he won over half of them. Yeah. Uh, so I, and what got me with the win was just being consistent. Um, but yeah, really that, that taught me that lesson. You got to be consistent. So not long after that, you and your partner decided that you wanted to move to Australia. Uh, talk to us a little about what prompted that move, where you moved to and where you trained um, in Australia when you got over there. Uh, so basically we just moved over with the hopes of earning more money, more opportunities. Um, and I was, we were living in Brisbane, so I trained a lot at uh, Valhalla, Brisbane, and then I'd go down to Coco's at the Gold Coast. Um, yep. And yeah, it was good though. I, I definitely learned a lot while I, I was over there, obviously over in Aussie. It was, uh, it had grown quite a lot compared to New Zealand at the time. New Zealand's still behind, but it's catching up. But yeah, it was pretty, pretty good. And talk to us about some of those uh, early jobs that you had over when you were over there. So quite <laughs> labor intensive. Uh... Yeah, uh, furniture removals. That was what I got like the second day I was there or something. Um, and yeah, it was rough. It was rough. I still, it's my PB, 17 and a half hour shift. Jeez. I don't know how I did it. Uh, so I still have nightmares about that. So what's harder, yeah, furniture like, moving or uh, strongman com competitions? I definitely felt like it was that uh, furniture <laughs> moving. So yes. That was tough. Like being big doesn't help either. Like you still have to fit through the door frames and that. So yeah, man. if you're carrying something and then you have to go through a frame, like it just doesn't work. 